there. Are you itching to dive into Webflow, but you don't know where to start and you don't want to learn the basics? Well, fear not, because I have a solution for you. Introducing the ultimate time-saving hack, the Figma to Webflow plugin. You hear me right, there's a nifty tool out there which allows you to design in Figma and just copy and paste and put it into Webflow. This is what this video is about today. We're going to walk you through how to connect your Figma to your Webflow and how easy it is to create a design in Figma and then go ahead and paste it into Webflow. If you're new here, hi, what's up? I'm Gemma and I'm a senior UX designer who's been working in the tech industry for the past 10 years. And if you like this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Now watch closely as I effortly copy and paste my Figma design and paste it straight into Webflow. Right, so first of all, we're starting off in Figma. Now this page has been designed, it's been set up for this project. I already have the Figma to Webflow tool open. So the first thing I want to run you through is the actual page layout itself. It's really important to name your layers. I've said this a bunch of times in all my videos. This time, it's extremely important. Name your layers. And the good thing about this, if you use the plugin itself to build out the pages, you're onto a winner because then it's really easy to do and you don't have to name your layers. Page was created with the plugin, navigation, hero banner, pricing criterias, a feature section, pretty basic standard landing page. If you ever want to build a site like this or if you ever want to build pages, the first thing you want to do is to add in a new page. So if we scroll down, we can put in a new page. Now this is really important to start off with a new page before you do anything. So we're just going to tap that in. The next part is to build things up as you go along. So you would want to make sure that this is selected. You want to make sure you have a navigation. I'm going to paste right in. After that we want a hero section so we're just going to throw that in, a pricing page, we're going to get a featured list and then we're going to put in a footer. So, and then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and style that page. This is how easy it is to put into Webflow. So we're going to go over to this new page, make sure that the new page is selected and all we're going to do is open up the plugin. First thing we're going to do off with the navigation, all these layers are named. I'm click copy to Webflow, in my assets, move over to Webflow and I make sure that I'm within the body. My nav is now in the website. I can do the same for my hero banner and now that's pasted in. Copy that in. It's copy. It's making sure that all my styles are available. Again, this is down here and we're going to click this bit in the assets for that. We're going to keep repeating as we go along, make sure it's in the body and then the footer, copy the footer over. As you can see straight away, that has been Figma to Webflow. The core functions are already there. And the cool thing about this is now we can start to make it responsive. Look now is not is not the best. It kind of is responsive, but not perfect. And once you understand this, it's pretty easy just to build pages up as you go. It's a lot less work than what it would be if you were just going to build this in Webflow itself. If this type of video, then please don't get to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of content like this as much as possible. I try and do a lot of Figma content, a lot of Webflow content, a lot of UX content in general. That's something you're interested in then I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel. I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions over on my Super Peer. Again, if that's something you're interested in, there's a link in the description below. And I also have a newsletter called Handover where I send out UX-related content every single month. Is that something you're interested in? Again, there's a link in the description below. And if you do want to try out Figma and Webflow, there are both two affiliate link descriptions. So, those out and use my links. Thank you. Bye-bye.